I'm hoping that these days get brighter. A lot of times when I'm tripping, I take a breather and start slipping. I shift and then I start reminiscing and visioning my condition and what I'm dealing with. Oh my, what up, kid? Yo. Oh, up, bro? How y'all feeling, man? I'm a little, I'm a little under the weather, but I'm here though. So. <laughs> you ain't got no shit, dude. <laughs> oh man, I think it's something I ate yesterday. Um, you know, I'm I'm like vegan like a mug, so I don't be eating meat or nothing. And yesterday I ended up eating some on accident. I ain't even know. Oh, uh, it fucked me up, man. Like, I guess because I ain't been eating it in like a year and a half now. So, oh yeah, you just throw yeah. shit all out of whack. You a third you know. eye cat? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You a third eye cat? Situation, man. Yeah. Hey, good though. <laughs> Thank y'all. I appreciate y'all too. I appreciate y'all too. Yeah, yeah. Man. All the love. Yeah, we appreciate. Just allow you. me to be on y'all platform. You know what I mean. Please, you know, but the project, uh, it probably took me about uh, I don't know. I had recorded a lot of songs, but it took like I want to say maybe six months, maybe. Mm, right. no. Yeah, so I recorded a lot of songs, and at that time, I was in a bad place when I wrote that shit too. Oh, like, for real. Yeah, just kind of writing myself out of, kind of like convincing myself, yeah, this is going on, but you got to keep this going. And you could tell in the project as it get better, it don't be as dark. You know what I mean? But yeah, it was. Uh, it was dark at the beginning. I know it's. Uh, the first couple of tracks, um, it definitely was, uh, it was kind of uh, melancholy, so to speak. And then, like, I want to say the last three, four tracks, what track is it called? Uh, Realign. I believe that was like an uplifting track. Like, Yeah, uh, most definitely. I believe that was an uplifting track, too. So. How long did it take you to, how long did it take, like, was the process from track one to track? What is it? How many joints you got on there? Well, I ain't want to put too much out there, but I think it's nine tracks, two skits, or well, it's okay. maybe three skits. But uh, believe it or not, the first track, that was last minute. The first track, okay. Yeah, it was last minute. I had another intro for it, which was really dope. But uh, once I did that, I was just like, nah, this got to be on her. You know? Oh. But how long did it take? Like from first track to like, how long did this album take you? Probably about six. I don't, I don't know. Maybe six months. Like I said, I recorded a lot of songs. Like I got a lot of songs that has not came out yet. You know, and it was all in the process of recording this project. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Some of them end up being songs that I felt like was for albums. Like that was just a project. It was a project that you know I hadn't brought out a project, so I brought that one out. But uh, yeah. It took some time, maybe maybe six months. And the last songs that I recorded on that was the first one in um, the whole of my composure. Like, them was the well, last two I recorded. Actually, my fault, go ahead, go ahead. No, nah, but them was the last two I recorded. Like, it it, um, it was last minute, but some, some producers sent me some beats. Like, I'm always trying to link up with producers and always, I don't care who you are. If you're making dope-ass music, I'm with it. So well, the reason I ask you is because like it's crazy you say like you started off in a different you ended up in a different place and you started off right like I actually hear progression within the album like like your your rhyme schemes you started off I hear the, the couplets and triplets you know what I'm saying but well, we get into that you know what I'm saying? yeah I right, sure. <laughs> we'll take it away Rick because I got some shit for that but I, I got some shit to ask you about that on some nerdy rapidy rap shit man we, right, we get so. into it. first of all let uh uh, thousands of thousands of listeners, subscribers. How? Uh, where are you from? I'm from the city. I'm from Chicago. Um, grew up over east, but I always been kind of affiliated with Roseland too. Not kind of. I have. Uh, how can I say that? Uh, I grew up over east, South Shore area. Went okay. to the typical schools over east. I went to Boucher. Went to South Shore. Mm -hmm. uh, but I always was affiliated with the with Roseland too, specifically because. Uh, and on the weekends, I used to be out there. Like, every other weekend, I was out there. And most of the summer, I was out there. So, mm -hmm. I know everybody. Like, I know everybody over east. I know everybody up the hill and down the hill from 119th to 100th Street. And the only 
people from Roseland know what that means up the hill, down the hill. I know about that hill, man. I said, yeah, I don't yeah. know about the, that currency exchange over there on um, yeah. 111th in Michigan. God damn it. I, what the fuck was I thinking, man? I swear I went to go <laughs> cash my check in like, it's 24 hours, right? Yeah. Well, <laughs> I went to cash my shit at like 11.58. Uh, yeah. like, <laughs> you <laughs> you was risking it, man. I saw my eyes blinking in the bushes. I saw all type of shit. Sewer cats. Yeah. <laughs> it's a crazy place, man. Yeah, yeah. Most definitely. For sure. What, um... Oh, you have something? How old are you? Oh, uh, yeah, uh... Man, I'm 30. I'm actually 34, bro. I'm 34 years oh, old. Uh, <laughs> been rapping since I was like... Maybe 14. Uh, was very shy about it. Was very good at it, but was very shy about it. And it mm -hmm. took uh, it took my little brother to tell me like, man, you sound better than most of these guys. You need to go ahead and just do it. Mm -hmm. So I just started doing it, and uh, I ain't been able to stop since. I got another project dropping in uh, the first week of March. So uh, is this your first project? Yeah, I'm currently working on two projects right now at the same time. Yeah. The one, the one that's out now, is that your first like time you went in the studio and recorded something? Nah, you know what? I got, I got like a whole lot of videos and visuals and shit that uh that I put out. So I was already recorded in the studio, but um when I decided that this is what I wanted to do, I was like, I'm gonna make sure that whatever I do, that it's gonna blow people away. So I just really worked at it, man. You know, it's it come easy for me to rap. But it's just one of them things where, you know, you got to make sure it's right, man. Freestyling and writing songs is totally different. Yeah. Right? yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So I sit there and, and rap all day. Nice off the top? For the most part, yeah. I'm pretty decent. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm pretty uh, decent. Yeah. I, that's coming up, too. I got a few freestyles coming up. So be looking forward to that, too. Check it for it. Yeah, for the sure. The title "Holding My Composure." What is what is that? What does that stem from? Like, how did you come up with that title? Well, uh, if you listen, if you listen to the project, you can tell in the beginning I was, I was dealing with some shit. Mm -hmm. So, um, it was just a lot of stuff going on, man. I, my OG, you know, she had issues going on, so I was worried about that. Mm -hmm. You know, unfortunately, when you got family members that's in the streets too, you know. That could put some on. That could that could bring some heat towards you and that person too. You feel me? Right. So, I was dealing with all that. I'm the oldest too out of the siblings, so I'm always trying to protect them. And it was one of them things I couldn't do that. And you know what I'm saying? And it just wasn't looking good. Like even with the rap shit, like I know I'm good at it, but nobody was trying to. You know, nobody was trying to hear. Nobody wasn't trying to do nothing. Like you know, they'd be like, or. I try to link up with artists. They're like, yeah, I'm going to link up with you. But then they hit me rap. It's like, uh, he could rap. And then they <laughs> so you were intimidated by? Yeah. So they were intimidated by the fact that when they heard you rap, like, oh, he can rhyme. Like, so yeah, the yeah. There was there only a few of them um, that was willing to reach out. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And it's a few people that's in Chicago that I respect as MCs. You know what I'm saying? That ain't even on yet. Like Spirit. I fuck with Spirit super hard. Do you know him from South Shore? Me and Spirit from the same hood. Right, we went to South Shore. Yeah. Me and Spirit from the same hood. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I fuck with Spirit. If y'all ain't heard of I Am God, y'all need to check him out, too. You know what I'm saying? Brittany Carter. Okay. There's a few of them, bro, that's really rapping. You know? I'm going crazy right now. Jay Hayes. Make a rap. Mm. For real. So well, yeah. Check it out something, man. So how y'all uh how y'all even start doing this, man? Cause this is this dope. Like it's about hip hop. It's a you know, I mean you see it every, you see people doing it, but then there's some people who just don't know how to do it. I feel like y'all got that on point for the most part. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate well, it. Appreciate it. Too, man. We've been doing it a while, man. It didn't start off like this, man. <laughs> 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 Oh, really? we, we just we just three friends talking shit, man. We like we figured like we you know what I'm saying you text each other all the time about random shit. 
Right. And we get together and we shoot the breeze. We was like, we might as well just put it on, on fucking on, on camera. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and it's all love. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's all genuine. We talk shit. We, we yeah. talk about hooping. You know what I'm saying? Rap. All that shit. So, but yeah. that's how it's supposed to be, though. Yeah. <clears throat> You want to be able to talk like I know with me as an MC, I don't like having people around me that's gonna lie to me. Like if it's if the shit whack, I need you to tell me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm glad you said that because like when you when you first when you first <clears throat> hit us with it, you know what I'm saying? He's like, "Yo, check check my my single out, whatnot." And I checked it. You know, how everybody hit you with that, and he's like, All right, "I'm a little apprehensive." But yo, I, I, Omar, yo, I, 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 yo, on the real, I was like, "Oh, this is actually decent." You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I, I was surprised. <laughs> I was surprised. I hit up Zeke. I was like, man, yeah, I, I'm People be lying, man. They be like, man, my shit hard. Nah, <laughs> I, I, thought, I, thought it, I thought you was going to be like a, a, one of them uh, rabbity rap. You know what I'm saying? Like one of them new school rappers. But you actually yeah. you actually got bars. You know what I'm saying? Some flow. So Yeah, you know, yeah. I, I appreciate that, man. And, and I'm always it. open-minded to, to grow with that, you know? Mm. Oh, yeah. Arrogant about stuff. I'm humble about everything. So. I know no rapper. I know no rapper wants to be compared to any other rapper. But I mean, but I hear a lot of um, like you know, what I'm saying like like even with your bar work, I still hear a lot of herbo. You know, what I'm saying like that, that, like that gritty sound that that herbo has. Yeah. <clears throat> like to me, you 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 uh, you're where herbo is now because herbo got a whole lot better. Yeah, he wasn't this good always. Like, it's nah, like he, he wasn't. He, man. he great now. Yeah, he on yeah, he crazy with it. You know what I'm saying? I I told the guys in the, in the past episode. I think that's solely attributed to him fucking fabulous's daughter. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> <laughs> being around fabulous, you hear his rhyme schemes, everything. Yeah, but hold on, he a lyricist for real. Yeah, yeah. And I, yeah. And you can tell. Him, you know, but anyway, like I said. No one there comparing you to anybody. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Yeah, but I know what you're saying, though. Like yeah. everybody, uh, everybody most definitely uh take something from somebody, even if they do it by default. You know, what yeah. I'm saying? like I, I fuck with her, but I'm more into rappers like uh, like I listen to her hard, but I'm into rappers like uh, I don't know, Conway the Machine, Benny the Butcher, yeah, West Side Gun, Rome Streets, yeah. Ransom. Yeah. Uh, Keep going, cause I'm waiting for a certain name. I'm waiting for a certain name. Uh, my favorite MC though, my favorite MC is of all time is Nas and Common though. Believe Stop it or not. Right all right. <laughs> I picked this up real quick, dog. Yeah. So, in one of your songs, all right, in, in the, in, I think the, I think the met the call, yeah. In the background, yeah. the message is playing. Nas, yeah, I hear that. Yeah, for sure. Then you, then you say you see you got a barber. You say sleeve is a cousin of death. That's one of Nas's jewels. Yeah, yeah. Then in real line, that that's that's Rick. That's that's Ricky Schwade's favorite song. That's the sample. Yeah, <laughs> with with Quan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was scared to touch that actually, to be honest. Can we all get a moment of silence? That's your track, though. <laughs> no, I actually didn't want to touch that though at first. To be what you want to that track? No, nah, I didn't want to touch it, man. Because I just because got so much moment? respect for them two rappers. You know what I'm saying? To There's a lot of rappers that influence me. <laughs> <laughs> They're the ones that influence me, you know? Nah, but. I heard that immediately. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, all right, this dude, he's clearly a Nas fan. You know what yeah, I'm saying? You get him automatically. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nas coming, man. Don't my, don't my guys. Nas. Yeah. Yo, whoa, 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 whoa. You, Didn't you drop the Nas flag? Huh? Joe, didn't you drop Nas flag? For a little while, yeah. <laughs> if you, what, what, if you, what you talking about? If you were honest, Nas fan, you know he was putting out trash for a little while, man. Oh, yeah, he was, most definitely was. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, yeah, damn, like uh, I'm gonna always say his wackest albums he ever did. Um, Nasha Domus, trash. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> on there, but yeah, kind of. Uh, Street Disciple was I. 
hidden, yeah, hidden jewels, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, overall, right. it could have been a double disc. Nah, uh, no. the untitled album was that was dope. It's just a was, classic. He was like, Life is good. good was a really dope album. Yeah, I like Life is Good. Yeah, Life is Good was yeah, a really dope album. Like. That's the one with uh, A.B. Winehouse? Yeah. That's the one he do the song about his daughter. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it didn't have that shit, you know what I'm saying? It had that... that and it had that what, King, like, what King's like, Disease 1 and 2 got. No. Mm-hmm. Boom. Yeah. Now, you know what I'm saying? It's like he, he getting better with age, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. He he most definitely nice, like, hands down. But there's so many other rappers, though. Like I said, I recommend y'all check him out. I think he's the illest rapper. Like, period, right now. Who that? Uh, Rome Streets. Oh, Rome? Come on, man. I, listen, I, just, I fuck with you. I'm still listening to Rome and uh, Ransom right now. Yeah. They're my niggas, man. I fuck with them super hard. That album is crazy, man. Yeah, I think my favorite project he did, though, is either Contraband or uh, Death of a Magician. I think they're my two favorites he did. Mm-hmm. But all that shit hard though. Alright, so look, so last question, I'm gonna let get let Rick get back to it, man. But all real right. quick. Alright, so <clears throat> I hear conflict within you. Within you as an MC, man. Yeah. You clearly like you're a Chicago nigga. You you, you, you yeah. like you and I ain't gonna ask about your membership, you know what I'm saying? I, but as far but you clearly wasn't on the porch, you was outside. You know what oh, I'm saying? Yeah, I, I'm a, I most definitely was outside, but I was more like a, I was. Well, cool. But at the same time, I hear you. I hear you taking. I see you take shots at the backpackers. You got a couple bars. We said I ain't used. What you say? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I like, feel you on that. Yeah, because at the end of the day, it's one of them situations where. That can I say, it, man? I always been a cool kid. I was the kid that got along with everybody. Right. Just, Drug dealers, whoever you want to think about, I got along with them. They because I was being myself, you feel me, and they respect yeah. that. And because of that, you know, I was able to move around a certain way, you know. So I got I got a lot of game from OGs, a lot of OGs, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So I want to carry myself exactly like a backpacker, but I most definitely be in tune like the backpackers, meaning that I read. I'm always reading. <laughs> So. Don't, but don't be, but don't be one of those back. I hate the backpackers. When you said that line, it resonated with me because I hate anybody trying to tell me what real hip hop is. You know, so I'm a, a, I'm trying think, to dictate. I think at heart, I'm a backpacker though. Like, so like as far as the learning experience of it, like backpackers always reading, writing. Like I'm that type of guy. Like I'm, I'm the guy that. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I listen to all the ratchet shit, but meanwhile, yeah. <laughs> I'm reading books like From Niggas to God, it's volume one and two. But that's the conflict. Yeah. You rap, you, rap you, you have complex rhyme schemes, you rap like a backpacker, with, uh, like quote unquote backpacker, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But, but like I say, like technically, a backpacker doesn't like your. What you, yeah, your, the what first you get into what I'm saying. You a gangster, yeah. you from Chicago, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I hate you know what I'm saying? That's the conflict. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you gonna always had that in you a Chicago nigga. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But so that's gonna that's always be in me, regardless. I always tell people that like the toughest, you can have the nerdiest person in Chicago go to new, any other city and he'd be one of the toughest ones though. He'd be OG, right. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, we learn different, we move different. It ain't just the, the gangsters getting smoked. You got backpackers, kids, every anybody you can think of, they could get it. So it's like you outside, you you, you in like danger. That. You know what I'm saying? And it's not nothing to be proud of, but that's what's going on. That's what it is. It is what it is. Yeah. So most definitely. Go ahead, Rick. With that, with that, with that, how you grew up being from the city, whatnot, and and like you would visualize, and I'm assuming you would write rhymes like that. Like, how did you? How was you able to like pick your beats for this project? Like, what made you like? Who first of all, who's the production on this project? Man, it's a lot of people actually. Um, the first track was Peso. Um, the third track was this guy that I know named Authentic. Okay. Uh, the Dreams was this guy named uh, K 
kid dandy and he from europe actually mm. um and then uh the whole of my composure he from new york Okay. His name kind of complex to say. I'll make sure I give it to y'all, but he's super dope. He produced two songs on there. He produced uh, the No Stopping and the Whole of My Composure. Okay. So uh, the last song on the project he produced and like the fifth song on there he produced. And then I had other people like you got Bobby made the beat like the boy. Like that most definitely sound like some Chicago shit. Right. But uh, he most definitely produced it. Uh, he not from Chicago, but he from the Midwest. And P. Soul from the Midwest, too. Okay. So, okay. Uh, were you, so in this project, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Joe. No, nah, you good. Was, was there a sound Was there a sound that you were looking for, or it was just like whatever was organic, how you felt, and you was just going with it? No, nah, I, I mean, when I did it, I wanted, I wanted people to know what I was going through because, you know, People go through shit all the time. And the problem is you can't find music no more that make you kind of be like, you know, they be therapeutic for you when you hit. So I wanted it to be like that. But I also want the project to be aggressive. Like throughout the whole project, you hear what's going on, but it's aggressive. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like I wanted, I wanted to catch you the moment that you heard it. That's why that track was the first song. You know what I'm saying? I knew that was what I'm all about. I understand that you got to get people attention when you're making music. So I just want the project to be paid. I want to be pacing the whole time, meaning that no matter what you say, I was rapping the whole time. You see what so I'm saying? Definitely the most no slowing down when I did that. So, and that's what I really wanted it. You know what I mean? And I just want to point that, uh, I want the color also that <clears> bigger <throat> picture that just cause you're going through shit, don't mean that you got to kind of give up on it. You can still hold your composure and just deal with the bullshit and focus on the bigger picture. That was why I called it holding my composure because that's literally what I was doing the whole time. And I'm still doing that. But, you know, things opening up now. A lot of people have been reaching out, so it's cool. You know? And I had a couple artists, uh, big guys that reached out. You know what I'm saying? Like Jada Kiss reached out. And I could say but he reached out like right then and there. Excuse and me, you could rap, and I was just told him I appreciate it, and we just, you know, this at first I, it was kind of like an up and down thing, but now we good. Like now he hit me on a regular, we chop it up, and it's cool. So oh, well, that's major, bro. Like you said, that kind of blase. Shit, that's crazy. <laughs> oh no, nah, he a rap guy. Like don't get me wrong, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying I'm the just fact Chicago shit being cool about it. But low key, when he hit me up, I was all. Yeah, like he a rap god. Yeah. How do you he hit you through IG? How do you get in contact with you? You know what? My sister sent him something that I did. Like I freestyled over that we gonna make it. Like no, I ain't right, gonna yeah. no, yeah, touch it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I freestyled over. I'm like, ain't nobody touch it. If I do this, I gotta really murder it. This Jada kiss. Right. So, yeah. I did it, and then when I did it, he was just, you know, my sister sent it to him, and he was like, yo, tell him to DM me. And, <laughs> and it went from there. Did your sister that has no prior relationship with Jada, right? She don't know? Nah, she ain't got nothing going on with him. My sister just, she a rap head like me. Like, I ain't oh. gonna, I know I'm a rap nerd. <laughs> yeah, that's hard. Yeah, yeah, so she a rap nerd. So when she heard oh. it, she was like, man, he gotta hear this. And she just, <laughs> she was just. She was older. Yeah, she the younger one. She the younger one. Oh, dope. That's dope as hell. Yeah, bro. she my uh, she the middle child. Mm hmm. Yeah, she reached out and it was like, "Yo, look, you need to check him out. If you don't check him out, you done." That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought that was crazy. All right. Yeah. So he he looked at it and was like, you know, that was the first thing he said. Like, man, what she talking about? Who you talking about? Who done? I mean, he looked. <laughs> <laughs> How about that. And it's been cool ever since. So I just been trying to get it all out there, bro. Like I've been uh having shows. I've been having a few shows. So I've been having them weekly for the most part. Uh what? What? Uh I just had one at the Forge in Joliet. Mm. And I had one at the baseline. Um and I had another one too. Um yeah, I had one at the baseline. I have it's recently like I had about four fast shows within the past two weeks. So it's really cool. Like I've been trying to get that out though. And I no, and the last show I had uh 
this one was kind of small, but the one I had before then it was with Kane Louis, so that was dope. Mm. So, mm -hmm. And Louis, you know, uh, he cool too. Like he fuck with the music. So. Uh, dope. Dope. And I feel like he could rap. Hell yeah, yeah, Kane Louis, dope. I just feel like that he gotta find that spark again. But he could rap though. Like he really can rap. Like hands down. Like Drill was sounding how Drill was sounding when Keith came around. Originally, Drill was sounding like how Louis was doing it. Right. And like, you used to rap. Really, right, niggas, the, the way Herbo used to rap, though, you know what I'm saying? It, it was like you was just coming with that rapid fire, like. Yeah, Herb, Drill, man, Herb could rap, like, for yeah, sure. Like, Drill started turning into more of the sound, like, after, like you say, when King Louis and, and when Herbo and, um, his so buddy came out with, with Herbo, uh, he, he, ain't he was Juice, Juice artist, he was Juice World's artist. No, nah, Juice World was his artist. Yeah, Juice World was actually, uh, I think, Bibby artist, if I'm not mistaken. Bibby, Bibby, right? Yeah. When they started, when Bibby, you know what I'm saying, it was more about the rapping, and it was like Drill turned into more of the sound, the more of the production. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah, I see what you're saying. They had the production like Drill still, but they mm -hmm. was rapping, though. Rap, we was talking about her, Bibby. Even uh, Shorty, uh, what's his name, Pappy, like, I can't really get into him too much, but yeah. honestly, he was able to rap, though. Pappy was cold as hell, man. Yeah, he was cold, bro. Like, really could rap. I didn't give him a chance at first. On the real, like, I, I, I was like, I, I thought, like, when I found he's from up north, I was like, ah, he probably a rabbity rabbit. He's a talented, quality ass nigga, you know what I'm saying? Nah, man. He was, rap, he was like, with it. He was different. Yeah, he was different, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he was with it, but he was able to rap. Like, I, I get what you're saying, though, about the backpacker thing. Just because you're from Chicago, and we don't be want to hear that. We want to hear some shit we could feel. Right. I you know what I'm saying? That part. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like I, I say. I with the backpackers. Don't get me wrong, because it's a lot of backpackers that I do like, but I like the really old backpackers. Like, um, <laughs> right, I was into, man. like, De La Soul and <laughs> Crab Call Quest. Like, that's way yeah. beyond my time, but I was into I was that. Gonna say, I was going to say Rhyme Fest from Shot town you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was into yeah. Rhyme Fest, Lupe Fiasco. Like, I'm a Lupe Fiasco fanatic. Yeah, so, yeah. Like, no let's, no bullshit. Like, let's, Lupe, let's Lupe, Lupe like, I mean, you see what he's been doing recently. He, he yeah. Somebody tried him. He just wanted to prove a point. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. He ate Royce alive, boy. He ate yeah, him he up. Ate, he killed Royce. He Had killed. his ass looking like uh, <laughs> like he was a, a average rapper. Yeah. yeah. Royce, he ain't no yeah. average rapper. Yeah, Royce is nice. Yeah, he made Royce nice. like, a, like, a, like a typical backpacker. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just using big words and shit, like. Yeah, like I'm into that. It just depends on who it is. Like you got some people who do it too much. Right. Like, I think Kwali super raw, but I can't get into Kwali. He's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. You want Joel Channel Seven alike? Like he can rap. Like he's wrong. He can really rap. Like rap. But I yeah. can't. Mm. I listen he to most deaf before I listen to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like most deaf. I got him in my phone. Like, I listen to him. You know what I'm saying? But it just depends on who the backpacker is. Like, Kendrick. I like Kendrick. Kendrick a backpacker at heart. Yeah. Like he talking that shit because he's still from that place. He's right. He's from Compton, you know right? What I'm saying? So I can relate to that. Like, I like J. Cole, too. J. Cole a backpacker, but J. Cole be talking that shit. Right. But he dope. As I guess it just comes down to being dope. Yeah. You, know, you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's niggas from this street niggas that's just you know they're not they, they trash because they just not dope. This is backpackers that are trash. They just not dope. Point. Yeah, point. man. It's some backpacker. Like, uh, let me think of another backpacker. Joey Badass. For now. Yeah. Mm hmm. No doubt. Badass. There, there's backpackers that don't know how to pick beats, and that's what that's yeah. one of the things I wanted to like give you kudos on is that like when I look listen to your your project, you definitely know how to pick a beat. Like your beats are like they pretty. Oh uh, yeah, I appreciate it, bro. Like yeah. I almost. You can't like some people. They 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 can get the they can get the bars, but like they they beats are horrible. Yeah. So with you, like you definitely know how to pick a beat. You got an ear, so yeah, like, for sure. Goes for that. But that but that come with uh, just like listen to other guys who was great at that, like uh. Like uh, like I was a big fan of Kanye for a long time. So Kanye West production is crazy. So I'm into production. I feel like production absolutely bring out the song. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, you could be as good as ever. It's just like Nas, like Nas, right? Nas' instrument first is his voice. So we always pay attention to that first. But he don't always pick great beats. Until recently. his job back. Like, until yeah. recently, though. Yeah, recently, yeah. Yeah, and, that, and I think it's strictly because uh, Hit Boy made sure he made beats that fit him, that worked for him. They right. still gave them Nas vibes, but they were just way better beats. Who would have thought Kanye? Kanye was failed? Yo, my bad. Nah, you good. Say what you were saying. I was saying, who would have thought Kanye would have failed? Man, Kanye failed. Yeah. I was gonna say the same thing. Kanye failed. Yeah, you know man. Mean? Who would have thought it? You know what I mean? Who would have thought that? Like Kanye was great, and that right. was different now. I can't even get into Kanye. There was a there was a rumor that Kanye during that time was dealing with. Uh, Pusha's album. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, he was making all them short. He was making all them short. He was dealing with Pusha and uh, Tiana Taylor, and then like Nas. Album, they yeah, did. and Nas album. That Nas that album he did with Nas was it was all right. Yeah, I'm sure he didn't. They wasn't in the studio together. He probably nah, just sent them he just sent them shit. It ain't nothing like them other projects. Like like I said, King Disease was dope, but King Disease Two is like a damn that classic. Hell yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, King Disease was super dope. Like, I hadn't heard no album that dope since Life is Good. Oh, it's like three tracks short of, of being a classic to me. Yeah, that's King what I was going to say. Too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the other, then the other one, that, that's just a classic from beginning to end. Like, Which one? Uh, King Disease 2. Like, that's, that's, a, that's super dope. Like oh, you mean project. King's Disease Two was? You mean King's Disease One was almost a classic? That was almost a classic. Yeah, King's Disease Two is classic. a classic. I don't want to give it. A it's close though. It's close though. Like it's maybe a song away. No, yeah. because there's one song that I'm like, uh. like <laughs> that one that he did with a uh, Death Row East. I can't get into that one. No, I like God. that. I like when he get in that bag, man. Like when I he get into that West Coast like bag. It, that I, like, I like that. I ain't like the. I ain't like the beat. That West Coast clap and shit. Every once in a while, I like what he did in that. You know what I'm saying? He's showing I mean, that he too, sometimes it sound really good, but then he has moments I'd be like, mm, you know, yeah. yeah, man. But I like. But I. But you. What I was about to say though, too, man. Uh, man, what was I about to say? But when I did that project, bro, I didn't know how it was gonna come out. I'm just being honest with you. Did not know. I just knew I was great at what I do, but I didn't know how it was gonna come out. Right. Working at it. So, but these yeah. new projects, <laughs> you about to drop them? You about to these make sure. projects better than <laughs> like that was a dope project, but these new projects better. Yeah. yeah. The only gonna be better, All right? Tell people where they can get your music, where they can stream, all that, yo. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, uh, YouTube, uh, you could go on there and follow my, uh, subscribe my YouTube page. It's just Oh My Music. When you click on the video, just go on there and, and you know, subscribe. As far as my music, you can find it on Apple. You can find it on uh, Spotify. You can find it on Amazon Music. And it's on uh, SoundCloud. I'm trying to get it on YouTube. We're going to make that work, though. But right now, anybody can get to it. Like, I even got it on SoundCloud. And on SoundCloud, it's an extra song on there. Okay. Okay. Uh, sure. I had did a uh I had remade that uh Who Am I Dipset. Mm -hmm. Hey, whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, check it out. We get a chance. Right. I left yeah. everything the same. The only difference was it wasn't me. It, I it was me and somebody else. Actually, my little brother. Like he on now. The okay. guy that's rapping on the Hush Game anthem too. That's my little brother. Okay. Yeah. So. It's super dope, man. And like I said, I, I like this platform too. I appreciate y'all for real. Oh, we, we thank you for coming yeah. on. Hell yeah, man. Hell so yeah. how y'all feel about rap right now in general? Like how y'all do y'all like what's do y'all like what's going on right now? Who wanna go? Who wanna, who wanna go with them? You the fishy and I though. Huh? <laughs> I don't like all I don't like all the fake beefs going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the, that's the shit I'm not into. Music. Yeah, I'm not into that neither, but um, I am happy about what's going on with rap right now, though, as far as you got all these guys out the blue that really can rap, and they making a name for themselves now. Now it's becoming cool to rap again, yeah. to a degree. 
It ain't a whole lot of them, but it's a whole little gain of them, and all of them can rap. You feel me? That's, that's, that's what I was going to say. I'm I'm happy with rap right now. It's like the whole game is, is elevated. You come out now, you, like, got to really be able to rap. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't you can't have a, uh, a niche. You can have a niche crowd, but you can't have a niche. You can't have a gimmick. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got to really be able to rap. What I don't like is the system. Like, I feel like we've been just saturated. Like, it's a new fucking, you know what I'm saying, they, fucking every Friday. Is, you know what I'm saying? I can't keep up. You know what I'm saying? I'm still playing Ransom in, uh, in Rome Streets. Fucking, fucking Russ just puts, Rick Ross just puts some shit out. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I'm still trying to get that and digest. I'm still trying to digest West Side last yeah, year. Yeah, that's you know the only I'm thing saying? I don't like about music now, too. Like, it come out, like, you used to be able to listen to an album for a whole yeah. year. You remember, you memorize that bitch. Yeah. yeah, you can now, listen to it for a whole year. Like, I think the first album I ever bought, and I was I was too little to get the album. I actually had my uncle get it from me. He ain't far from me in age, but it was a uh, DMX is dark and hell is hot. Mm, that's a good I was album. little, yeah. And I listened to that. Oh, 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 that's that's definitely that. not for kids. <laughs> no. So is that is that is that the album that turned you on to hip hop? Like what was that? No, nah, it wasn't, man. What I was, was, I was the album? It, man. I was heavy in it already. Even as okay, so kid. what's the album that you listened to that was like, yo, this is what I want to do? Like, this, I wanna uh, the first album that I heard that made me want to rap. Um. You know, like I said, I'm a big Nas fan, but I will only see him on TV or stuff that he bring out because I was too little at the time. Like the first video I ever saw of Nas was uh, "It Ain't Hard to Tell." You know, "It Ain't Hard to Tell," like "Tell Then Prevail," and he got the big ass phone and shit. Right, right. right. In, like that was the first video I saw, and I was hooked. Like yeah. that. Yeah, and that was yeah. it. With the polo, oh, with, the, with the polo, oh, yeah. And then when he said that little line, I never forget that. That's the first rap line I ever learned. How did I do learn that? But the whole focus on squeeze clocks and CZs drop, though they need not to sneak. My poor shit. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that shit. That was it. Come on, man. It was like, yo, hip hop, hip hop, I'm married. Yo, I got yeah, you. I got like, you. Yo. Yeah, here go the ring. One <laughs> day. <laughs> So, but the first album that I heard that made me, when I heard Nas, Nas made me feel like I couldn't do it. I just thought he was just so incredible at that time. Right, right. Yeah. But it was people like uh, Common. Uh, what was the album that I heard that like really caught my attention of his? Uh, probably like Chocolate for Water, maybe. Like Water for yeah, like Chocolate for Water. Damn, I bro. You don't like even know. That. Most, definitely. Well, I was influenced by him big time. Gee, you don't even know how old you're making me feel, B. DMX is the first album? Common, yeah. like Water for Chocolate? Oh, my God, dog. I was little as fuck, but that shit was legit. I'm like, man, who the fuck is this? And then I found out he was from here, and that was it. I was hooked, bro. It was gone, huh? Yeah, I was gone. That was it. Then he brought the B album out. You know, and that was it, man. Like, yeah. I always say, that's probably his best album. The Resurrection. Oh. Like people shot. always skip. People always skip Electric Circus, man. You went straight from like. <laughs> man, I hate Electric Circus, man. <laughs> I never understood how this nigga had the Neptunes in his pocket and came off of and that then, album. He didn't win. He, I mean, he got the Mary J joint. You know what I'm nah, saying? Man, he he ain't win, like, man. <laughs> that album supposed to be good, man. That yeah, shit, man, like, nah, that shit was trash. Yeah, man. I went to see him at House of Blues when he performed that album, man. I left. Man, I never, I mean, I would never, like, how can I say it? If I ever met him, that would you would never hear that. But <laughs> <laughs> he most right. definitely, that was the album for me. Like, everybody got an album that was whack, you know, at least once. Like, even with Jigga, I always say Jigga's worst album was, uh, I'm going to say his worst album he ever did. <clears throat> Man, he got a lot of good albums. I'm going to say Kingdom Come, though. Like, I hated Kingdom. Kingdom Come was all right. That's what I was expecting. Like, <laughs> yeah. Come was Like, that intro was super hard. And after yeah, that, I'm like, this shit don't even sound yeah, like that. that. It's like, it's like, you know? That's how I feel, man. But that's always going to be the one for a comment, like, electric, whatever that's. I forgot about the name. That's how. That's, <laughs> why, that's, why, that's why I don't even remember it. All right. Shit, that shit ain't a problem to me, man. That was just some shit that he brought out. That's how I feel about it. Out of respect for him. 
Kanye kind of saved his career with B, like like oh, real yeah, talk. Yeah, 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 B was a classic. That's a classic yeah. album. I think yeah, my yeah. favorite song on there is uh probably "It's Your World," the last yeah. song that come on. Still want to see California. Yeah. that's my shit. I feel like he was coming at Cube with that shit though. Mm. Mm, speak on it. I mean, I mean, you know. <clears throat> They always had that tension with each other. You know, when he brought out, I used to love her. I only know from what me, you know, I'm big in documentaries and shit. Like, so if right. I know anything about shit that's beyond my time, it's because I'm always looking at it. Like, I'm into documentaries and interviews with these, with favorite artists or whatever. But one of the things that he had was Ice Cube really didn't like when he said what he said. When he said uh, something about boys in the hood and it's all good. Some, some, I forgot what it said. <laughs> That's a prime they, dis they dissed each other. That was a prime example of Common being fucking one of them backpack niggas trying to tell you what's real and what's real, not hip hop. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know he, 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 he made the metaphor. And then she, he, he said she went out west and that was cool. But around that same time, I went away to school and I'm a man of expanding. Like, yeah. He was like, yeah. if she went out to the west coast, started rapping like, and that was cool. Man. You know what I'm saying? Q, yeah, I feel you on that part too. You know what I'm saying? Can't tell people what hip hop is, but at the but you know what though? I see you don't like that shit. <laughs> you don't like that shit at all. <laughs> and look who and look who caught it. One of the guys, you know, that's and that's cute. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He came out with bow down. You know what I'm saying? He came out like. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but that diss he had though, I ain't gonna lie. Like, he held his own. He said what he said. Mm -hmm. Granted, he had he shouldn't have said it, but when Ice Cube dissed him and he came back, yeah, that was it. But the bitch, had, I, they the beef though; they good now. Yeah, they good now. But I, at that time, yeah, they good now. But yeah. at that time, when he did the B album, they still weren't talking. Right? They yeah. weren't talking. I gotta, I, hey, I'm gonna say Dr. Effects was on him. I gotta ask you a question. All right. Want like uh, Pac or Biggie? Yeah, you broke your shit. Damn, man. Honestly, don't I'm going to explain it first. Tupac was great at making people feel shit. That was one. So he was great at expressing himself, seeing how he feel, and making everybody else feel it. That was his greatest weapon. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. Little. Caveat. Here comes a caveat. <laughs> and he was political. I mean, if I'm going to choose, no, I'm picking Biggie, bro. Yeah. Sorry. I got to pick was. Biggie, man. I've been saying this. <laughs> Anytime somebody say straight torture, look what that slick shit caught you. Caught you a first, what he said, a first class. <laughs> Vivica, real name, Christopher. Watch, I set it off like Vivica. Nah. Yeah. My okay. thing with uh, the big guy is Pac, though. <laughs> huh? He don't like Pac at all. He, he, he don't he, like Pac? Nah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. You know, Joe. Like Pac, I never been. Not, not in this top five. Nah. What? Right? Pac, you know? Nah. Damn. Nah, I never was a big Pac fan. I'm going to have to disagree with you with that, brother. No, no rap fan says I was never a Pac fan. Nobody says that. Brenda had, a big, said. Brenda had a belly, had a brain. Like, dude, People said, like, I got a homie that'll tell you, like, <laughs> fuck Tupac. Yeah. I, I, I didn't go that far. but uh, I got <laughs> homies that say that, though. Like, man, yeah, Tupac cool. He cool, <laughs> but they'd be quick to be like, he, they'd be quick to be like, you know, this is the same man that was in art school. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank I'm you. Right. I ain't going to art hey. school. I don't, even care, I don't even care about all that. You know what I'm uh, saying? What are you doing that mic, man? Like, yeah, but what I'm saying is... He was uplifting and then he was... Yeah, but that thug life shit, though, like, that was cool. But I just felt like he was doing that because it re it, it was relatable. Because that's what was going on with the people. And he had been in L.A. I mean, he had been in, you know, up there yeah, in Oakland. he's a New Yorker. He's not an L.A. cat. Yeah, but I'm just saying he had been up in Oakland for a while. And he picked up on shit. I feel like the reason why he had love for the West Coast was because when he left, he was on his own, and he figured out how to be a man. Now. I think that's what it was. But he most definitely a East Coast guy. He from B-more. Like he he lived in New. He was born in New York, but he from B-more. 
I mean, that's where he met Jada Pinkett Smith. Right. Build him out. Yeah. They East Coast out. He's loyal. Big is just too. Uh, big was just. He just had that shit, man. Like he was just too visual. Right. Boys, man. But you, you know what it was style. with Big, though, bro. <laughs> Pac didn't have no style. Come on, you know man. what it was with Big. Now nah, Pac had style. I can't say that, but yeah, Pac was. Hey, don't even Pac was cold. Though. Don't get me yeah, wrong. Dude. Cold, but what I will say about what I will say about Biggie, though, Biggie. Had an excellent vocabulary. Like people don't realize that he was in school, like honors class for English. Yeah, make him fake. Yeah. Class, you see smart. what I'm saying? Like he was a very I intelligent like kid. Yeah. I made that fascinated with the streets and went out there. But he was very intelligent. So yeah. that's why, I, like one of my favorite Ram schemes that he ever did ever is a uh, another day, another struggle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that yeah. Rap for yeah. that project, I mean, for that, pers- I mean, the whole project was dope, but nah, man, he was different. Yeah, Duh. and he was fat, and he was cool, <laughs> and he was fat. <laughs> he, bro, he was fat, he was fat. So and he, he was rapping wild. like that, bro. Like you would never catch him catching breaths. Exactly. So you're giving them uh, brownie points for being fat? No, no I'm giving them brownie points for rapping like that when he's 300 pounds. <laughs> that off. Right. Exactly. You know he's supposed to be. He's, he's some. He's that's, like, come on, man. That's how I feel about Puma. Like, like, phenomenal. <laughs> but he was five hundred pounds. Exactly. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. His, his 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 control on the mic, pause. You know what I'm saying? He was, yeah, he was, like oh, I'm I'm talking about to this day, bro. I'm way smaller. I still be trying to figure out how they do them them uh breathing patterns like that. Yeah. <laughs> like man, right. pretty good, but. That shit was on fire. I'm just saying what Big did in a dance track. He said, "No to the plaintiff. Your daughter's tied up in a Brooklyn basement." What? Yeah. <laughs> Not guilty. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man. The, 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 he told her the visuals. You know what I'm saying? Like he would, but he could rap his ass off. And you didn't realize he's telling you a story. Like he's, you could still yeah, bounce it. Nah, 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 up there? I ain't trying to be funny. I know glad I know Nas kind of wiped his head off once he passed away because he dissed him. That I saw he was talking about on the uh the uh what was that kick in the door waving the floor. Yeah. Yeah. He went crazy on him, bro. But mm-hmm. he he did bite off of Nas. He oh, he off. most definitely bite Nas. Nah. Yeah, everybody all of them bit off each other at one point. All right. Nah, nah, Nas didn't bite off nobody. Yeah, like I, I believe that because Nas. Nas is a uh, Nas was a great Nas is a great storyteller. He yeah. say bizarre rap line, especially in the very beginning. Like at age twelve, I went to hell for snuffing Jesus. What type of shit is that? Like that's right. different. Right. One um, more, one, I got one more question, now, and I'm and I'm fading to black. All right. Hov or Nas beef? Who won? You know what? Who won that beef? It's hard to say. I always say that because at first I was all about Nas at first. Like, nah, Nas won that. Uh, it was just one of them things. When you hit TakeOver, it was so factual. <laughs> it was so factual, bro. Like, Nas, factual. Nas, this is the Nas, 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 Nas But I'm going to tell you why Nas won, though. Thank Nas you. Nas won Thank because you. when he raps, when he raps, he flipped everything that he said on the song, and that's what sold it. Like, yeah, if he hadn't true. did that, he would have lost. Exactly. But because, <laughs> like, when he said that, he uh, when he said that line about what you, what you, what you trying to kick knowledge, nah, that was some jigger said on the thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that ether, that shit that make your soul burn slow. Is he damn diddy, damn dummy, or some a damn dummy? Oh, I get it. You biggie and he's puffy, like. He said hey, everything he was saying factual. They wanted to be biggie and make it factual for him. And right, right. It's hard to do that. Hey, listen to me. Listen to me. None of that compares to you know who, oh, you know God. what. Because look in the studio. Oh, that's the most disrespectful hey, hold, 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 hold on, hold on. Now was in the studio with Bravehearts, <laughs> and they were all listening to this takeover, <laughs> and they all said, "Yo, you that bullshit. You know who? Did you know what?" 
And you only know, nines knew. <laughs> only nines knew like that, son of a bitch. <laughs> you weren't going to diss him neither at first. You in the minority. You, you, you in the minority. Him, only he, like, he got it. That's the you ultimate in, diss, man. You in the minority, though, Joe. Huh? Yeah. And don't You're get me wrong, minority. Jigga did his thing. I mean, he did it. Word. At that moment, I'm like, yeah, Nas might be out of there. And then and look, once he, I heard, once I heard, you know, Ether, man, that was it. He ain't even. It was so dope that he ain't even had to bring out the other disc. Jigga had to bring out two, three more discs. True. You feel but what look, I'm saying? Like, and check this out. People we give people give Drake credit for dissing Meek and having a, a, a what a top five hit in a disc record. Takeover was going hard in the clubs. It was. <laughs> don't get me wrong. And, that shit that he did. And Ethan wasn't? <laughs> but I'm always just feeling way You're not playing in the club. club. You're not playing in the club. When you heard Ethan, you was like, damn, this dude. Yeah, subterranean. I, yeah, I hear Ethan all the time. <laughs> Even the way he came off. Dude, fuck Jay-Z. What's up, niggas? I know you ain't talking about me, dog. You? What? You? Right, right. What? Now, the shit go hard. Don't get me wrong. I ain't saying it was weak. But don't get me wrong, though. What I will say is Jigga did his thing. And at that moment, man, I thought it was over with. I'm like, man, he ain't coming back from that. <laughs> Jigga ain't the I'm like, Nas ain't the same right now. And his mama sick. But he did it. He was shady about that shit, though, because he dissed yeah. the right when his mama was sick. Right, right, right. He like, this the time to get him. He ain't focused. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They always, every time he say, I'm the king of New York, but what about Nas? So... He did what he yeah. had to do, man, but it backfired on his ass. All right, well, look, check it out. Um, and wrapping up, and I'm assuming we're wrapping up. Rick, you got any? Y'all got anything else? Um. Oh, tell the people what's next. Tell the people what's next for you. Uh, I bet. Uh, I got a freestyle. I got a project with like hella freestyles coming out. Um. Me freestyling on classic beats, now beats. It ain't gonna be that many tracks. It probably be eight tracks. Okay. <coughs> I'm like sixty percent done with it. Um, and then I'm working on this project with this guy. Shout out to Backpack Beats. Uh, mm -hmm. Backpack Beats. He from he from down south, but he live up here now. But he make these crazy soulful ass beats. And he was working with people in the tri states, but. <coughs> Not in the city. I'm the first guy he worked with. And um, originally, he was just going to be a track, a track or two. But he sent me five beats, and I finished them in, like, three days. Oh, okay. so that was it for me. I'm like, yo, send me some more. You got a title we got yet? A project, we got a project coming soon. You know, I keep y'all posted on it. But the freestyle project going to drop first. That's what's going to drop at the very beginning of March. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So and y'all gonna enjoy that shit. I got a few freestyles coming up. Um You you and like channel I said, common one of my favorite rappers. Battle. Huh? Y'all should freestyle. <laughs> you and channel seven, y'all should battle. Y'all 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 should freestyle and battle. Who? Oh, rap. Oh, rap. oh j j he raps. He <laughs> raps. Nah, no, nah, nah, bro. Nah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you try to play the humble role, man. Hey man, look, man. Hey, hey, real quick. Hey, I did have a question. Hey, is there a particular reason why you put your joint out on DistroKid, like instead of like CD Baby or TuneCore or like Universal you know, Masters? That's like the hot one right now. You know what? Because at the time, uh, to be honest with you, I knew I had an account with them and already, and uh, they pretty smooth with everything. Like some of them accounts. Uh, like they want you to, they don't want MP3s or MP. They want MP4s or master. And okay. Like ninety percent of my tracks was master. It was just one of them that wasn't. But it was so crispy. It sounded like it's master. I give you which one it is like real line. Yeah, I know they are kind of stringent. You know what I'm saying? This, but um, cause I, you know what I'm saying? Like I couldn't. I didn't know if I couldn't find your joints on title or YouTube strictly because of. Oh, um, yeah, nah, see, title, title has uh, this thing with mastering. Like, they want everything mastered. Yeah. And, and that track that I did with the real line, I okay. just, I, I didn't know nothing about it at the time. So it was getting close to that time to put the music on a, on a, on a outlets so it could be out on time. And okay. A situation to just end up not making it to title, but it'll be on title though. Like I said, it'll be on that soon. I'm actually working on that. 
No, I was just curious. I just noticed that. Yeah, like, but that's what it was, though. Like, Distro Kid, a little more. They kind of. They chill about shit. Like, you know, they put the MP3 on there. As long as they crispy. If they crispy, they don't know. Holla at your project, man. One more time. Omar Raps, man. It's great. Yeah, guys. Omar Raps, bro. It's, it's the name of the project? It's on Google. It's on, uh, it's on Spotify. It's on Apple Music. It's on Amazon Music. And it's on SoundCloud. It will be on YouTube and Title Soon. But as of right now, that's what it's on. But I appreciate y'all, man, having me up on here, man. Thanks for like I on. said, uh, I got more music coming, man. And be looking for it, bro. For sure. All right. We'll do, we'll do. Uh anything else? Uh you want any shout outs or anything? Yeah, man. Shout out to uh <laughs> shout out to Backpack Beast, man. Like we got some shit coming up, man. It's gonna be super dope. And uh shout out to Stasia. Like she was the one that mixed everything on the project. Mm-hmm. And nope. uh and shout out all the producers, man, that was on the project that sold me the beats and was willing to sell them to me and checked out my meals and was like, yeah, yo, you could rap. Like, the, the thing with P-Soul, I ain't even, he usually, like, he make people pay because he worked with big guys. Like, he didn't work with guys like East, Davies, Joey Badass, people like that. And uh, he from Minnesota. So when he heard me rap and I told him I was trying to buy this beat, he was like, Bro, you can have that motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's yeah. all you have to do from that. Right. He like, if this if the shit do what it do, I know it's gonna make me look good in the long run. So and he was like, uh, he ain't never felt like that about other MCs besides the ones he worked with, like Joy Badass, and he liked East too. But he said other guys he worked with, they was cool. But he like, yo, you could rap, and he just been in tune with me ever since. So shout out to him too. No doubt. Hey, Omar, man, it's great having you on, man, on the real, man. It's, like I say, uh, you, you're much more of a guest. You're much better guest than I expected. You know what I'm saying? Like, All right, for you, sure, you, man. I appreciate it. Talk, man. man, real talk. Right, Once again, yeah. man, holding my composure out on all platforms. Well, some most of the platforms. Yeah. Soon to be all platforms. Yeah. On my rocks, fellas, Sports Life and Hip Hop Presents, man. So, low, low. Thank you. I appreciate it. Right. Yo, so once again, man, that was a dope show, man. We got Omar Raps holding my composure, man. Shout out to Ricky Shway bringing him on, man. Politic and, uh, and well, he said he had a mixtape coming out. Beginning of March. Him and, mixtape. Uh, in the What'd you say? Him and Backpack. Did you say Backpack Beats? Yeah, Backpack Beats, yeah. Um, yeah, man, I'm, I'm looking forward to whatever you got coming up, man. Uh, shout out to all our He's a fan of the show. Yep. Shout out to that fucking famous guest so far. <laughs> nah, nah, man. We ain't no most famous. Is he, is he up in prominent? I don't know. Four K. Well, maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe. He up there. You said four K? Yeah, they get four K followers. Spirit oh, Omar Raps. Bit Mike Baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Another episode of Sports Life and Hip Hop, man. As usual, you got the usual crew. You got my man Zeke. You got the one and only Ricky Schwein. And I'm Channel 7. Peace. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I gotta take him off the head. There's only one, and that's me. You understand? It's like we come through. Better have your fucking third out. Bad enough, nigga. I don't want nobody sound like nobody from my clan, man. Keep it real, get your own shit, man. And be original. You can't imitate me on this fucking tape. You ain't ringing the bell. You ain't. I'm ready when you are.